Hello students, welcome back. In the last session, we have studied basic elements of Python. In that, we have studied variables and assignment. And we have also studied about idle ID. In today's session, we will study about branching programs. So let's start. Branching programs are more interesting than the straight line programs. In case of straight line programs which executes from top to bottom that is the first statement till the last statement, branching programs are more interesting. The simplest branching statement is the conditional branching or you can say if conditional branching. In branching, the code, the statements are not executed from top to the bottom. The statements are executed based on certain conditions. If certain condition is true, one part of the program is executed and if some conditions are false, the other part of the program is executed. A conditional statement has three parts. So these three parts are a test that is an expression that evaluates to either true or false. The second part it is a block of code. So block of code that is executed if the test evaluates to true that is our true block and an optional block an optional block, optional block of code that is executed if the test evaluates to false. So a conditional statement has a test condition, true block and false block. Look at the flow chart of conditional statement. We have a test condition. For example, if a is greater than B. So this is a conditional uh, test that evaluates to either true or false. So if the test is true, the true block is executed and if it is false, false block is executed. Look at the code in Python, how the conditional if conditional statement is declared in Python. So this is the syntax of if conditional statement in Python. So we have if boolean expression. So boolean expressions are expression which evaluates to either true or false. And then we have a colon at the end. Remember there is a colon at the end and there are no round bracket open and round bracket close here in Python. So if this condition evaluates to true, we have a true block here, block of code. This is our true block. And in the else part, we declare a false block. Again, we have a colon here. So again, we need to remember, we need to add a colon at the end of else. So if Boolean expression, we have true block, we have false block. So this is the syntax of if conditional statement in Python. Okay, let's see one example here. So this example program prints uh, even if the value of x is even and it prints odd if the value of x is odd. So look at this example how if conditional statement is used here. 
so we have if space x x is a variable having some value then percentage that is the modular symbol x mod 2 is equals to 0 if the statement is true it will print even so we are printing even notice a colon here and we have a else block if the statement evaluates to false we have false block and it will print odd and one more thing to notice here it is the indentation so this is very very important in python we do not have flower bracket open and flower bracket close in python instead of flower bracket open and flower bracket close we use indents whenever we want to include statement inside a conditional block we have to use an indentation one indent you have to give if you want to include statement inside the if so this print even it is inside if and else if you look at one indent we have produced that makes else outside this if and Again, there is one more indentation over here that makes this print odd inside the else statement. So, print odd, it is inside the else statement. There are no flower bracket open and no flower bracket close in Python and this is very, very important. And look at the next statement here. Print done with conditional and if you look at the indentation again, it is at the beginning. That means this print is not inside the else statement it is not inside the else it is outside the else and that is very important in python okay this is about conditional statement uh, how conditional statements are declared in python okay one more important thing that is about nested statements nested com conditional statements if you look at here we have one more example this side if x mod 2 is equals to 0, inside this if we have one more if. If x mod 3 is equals to 0, again inside the second if we have a statement indentation, one indent. This is second indent that makes this print inside the inner if condition. That is if x mod of 3 is equals to 0. So it will print divisible by 2 and 3. Then we have else. And again indentation is reduced here. And it is at the level of the inner if. So this is the else statement for this inner if condition. And again inside this else we have one more print. Again there is some indent over here. So it will print divisible by 2 and not by if you look at one more important thing here, we have one more statement that is ELF x mod of 3 is equals to 0. Now ELF here stands for else if. In Python, else if is written as ELF. And if you look at the indentation of this, it is at the line of this particular if, means it is the else statement of the first if condition that is x mod of so inside this else if we have one statement divisible by 3 and not by 2. So this is how you can even declare nested conditional statements in Python. So let us uh, execute one simple program. The same program we will execute the even odd program and we will see how we can uh, execute this particular program. Okay, to execute this, uh, we need to open the idle. So, open idle. And Okay, idle is open. So, this is our shell. I can directly type the complete program over here, but line by line. 
or I can create a file inside which I can type the program. We'll go for a new file. Okay. So this is my file. So first I'll declare a variable x. Again, variable declaration, it is straightforward in Python. There is no need to declare any data type. Whatever value we store in the variable, that will be the data type of that particular variable. Here, the type of uh, uh, x, it is int because we are storing object 2, that is integer object 2 in x. So, we have x is equals to 2. Then a conditional statement if x mod of 2 is equals to is equals to 0 and colon the sidle provides smart indentation and because of that automatically one indent has automatically came here you can see and inside if so I need to give an indent if there is no indent using a tab here inside this I have to print print in single quote or double quote even then so this is my true block I want something in the false block I need to declare an else so I'll reduce one indent and I'll declare else colon again colon is important here then again automatically smart indentation is provided by idle so print I'll say odd and that's it so this program simply prints even when the value of x is even otherwise it will print odd so let's Save this program first. I'll say even odd and save. Program is saved. To execute it, go to run, run module. Now you can see it is printing even because the value of x we have that is 2. So it is printing even. If I make value of x is 3 and if I save the program again and if I execute it this time you can see it is printing odd. So this is how we can declare conditional statements a simple if conditional statements in Python. If you want to include uh, more than one statement inside a if block you can include it but make sure you use indentation there. I can say here uh, okay I'll include one more print statement here print in single quotes x is equals to comma x this x is equals to will be printed as it is whereas this x comma x will print the value of x So I'll include here is even. Okay. Then same way. I'll include one more statement over here. Is odd. Okay. Let me execute it again. Okay. Now you can see it is printing. X is equals to 3 is odd. And if I change the value of x now, if I make it as 4, it will print x is equal to 4 is even. Okay. So this is how we can declare simple conditional statements in Python. Okay. Let's come back to the PPT. Okay. There is a finger exercise for you. You have to write a program here and this program 
examines three variables say x y and z and it should print the largest odd number this is important it has to print largest odd number among them if none of them are odd it should print a message to that effect for example if the values of x y and z are say 9 13 and say 19 looking at this you can tell me what which is the largest odd number in this so largest odd number of course it is 19 if you have values like again say uh, 4 5 and 6 which is the largest odd number in this the largest odd number it is not 6 it is 5 because 4 and 6 are even it is about odd numbers so we have 5 as the largest odd number if you have values like say 4 2 and 6 there is no odd number in this in that case it should print a message to that effect so it should print a message like there is no odd number so for this you have to write a program okay uh, that's it for today's session we will stop here thank you very much